in industrial automation, the end of arm tooling is everything. And how you pick parts up, of course, well, that's fundamental to the process. That's fine if your part is a cube or a cylinder, but what if it's irregularly shaped? I'm with Mike Yelker, who's product manager at Festo. Uh, Mike, uh, if I need to pick something up and move it, pretty common thing in industrial automation, what if my part isn't a nice, convenient shape? Yeah, so if it's an odd-shaped object, uh, you know, the challenge is how are you going to pick that up repeatedly and reliably? And so there's a lot of uh, new innovation in the industry trying to figure out, you know, the best way to do this. Uh, so, for example, maybe you're picking up objects out of a bin and they're uh, maybe you have a few different objects in there and they're just kind of thrown in there. You know, they're not in a per particular orientation or anything like that. And so it's really difficult to do with you know rigid fingers. And so what we've developed here with our adaptive shape gripper is uh, it's really a uh, a flexible platform uh, that kind of envelops around the object. And by just pure friction of wrapping around the object, it's able to pick it up. And uh, and also uh, it's good at uh, not crushing the object or deforming it if it's a, a delicate type of object. So it's uh, a good type of soft gripping technology. Yeah, Mike, um, historically, smooth flat surfaces, vacuum gripper, no problem. Uh, fairly hard, rigid, durable surfaces, well, I can go with a conventional mechanical gripper and just grab it with the fingers and, and pull it up. Uh, there's, but there's sort of a soft gray area in between at that yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, now, and this process, is this a vacuum process? What actually makes it grip? Yeah, it's not actually a vacuum process. Uh, what we have is a, uh, a double-acting pneumatic cylinder inside, and it's attached to this uh, silicone membrane. Uh, the membrane is pressurized with a very low pressure uh, to give it some shape to it. And then as you retract the piston rod cylinder, it then envelops the object uh, within that silicone membrane. And it, so it's really just gripping it by pure friction of that membrane. Now, in some cases, um, what if I'm using an abrasive or a sharp part, and after many, many cycles at this point, I uh, abrade that membrane. Can I swap it out? Yes, yeah, so you can exchange it. Uh, there's a, a quick exchange. You simply uh, do a quarter turn and uh, a quick release on the membrane itself, pop in a new membrane, and then you're good to go. So yeah, total change over maybe 30 seconds. Uh, Mike, what industries do you anticipate might be early adopters of this technology? I'm thinking uh, pharmaceutical, pick and place? Uh, there are some pharmaceutical, uh, vial handling, for example, uh, but there's also uh, any kind of uh, bin picking or also a collaborative where you have a collaborative robot and maybe a human doing some assembly and it can hand uh, the different objects to the assembler at that point. So uh, yeah, various different industries, uh, but yeah, bin picking applications, collaborative human interface uh, type applications, and any kind of soft gripping where you don't want to uh, damage the object. Mike Gelkart Festo with a way to grip irregularly shaped objects quickly and efficiently.